the AI of Aliens Monsters got a bit smarter. Now they avoid occupied tiles, collision and also friendly fire. Previously an AI wouldn't care if there is an ally between their target and them. So they just shoot their projectiles and they would damage their allies if they are in the way of the projectiles. And also if another AI was in their path, they just couldn't handle it and started pushing them. But now when an AI is deciding a target's visibility, allies are also taken into consideration. And tiles with solid objects on them are considered occupied, so they will avoid them. This also means that now the AI surround the target in a circle. But this can lead to situations where, for example, a short path is blocked by two monsters and the other ones start going on a roundabout, which is far, far longer. In these cases, enemies instead will queue up behind the blockade, just as expected. And if there will be some movable objects instead of the monsters, like for example barrels, the monsters in the back would just push through them. There are also minor improvements, like changing the direction of moving is not instant. Instead creatures now turn progressively. And previously, when there wasn't a path to the target's location, the game went into an endless loop, trying to find a path. Now the AI just waits for you to be approachable again. They also follow you endlessly, but now if you get far enough, they will lose interest. And besides these improvements to the AI, I also optimized the corridor generation and also made some new, simple but handy, benchmarking tools. By the way, these improvements were done just before LD46 in April, after my thesis was finished. But I didn't have time to make a video about it, because soon I started working on my puzzle game called Regrowth, which is going to be released in January or February. And now, thanks to having multiple projects, I can easily avoid burning out from Regrowth by just switching back to Eldum for a few weeks before I would finally start finishing it. So I can only recommend having, for example, two projects simultaneously. Having only one could risk burnout, but having more than two could risk never finishing any of them. In the next video I will juice up the game a bit and make a prototypish user interface. So the gameplay loop's iterative development could be finally started. But now, thanks for watching and see you next time!